Sometimes in the operating room, we use a device called a Keller funnel. Patients ask, what is a Keller funnel? I'll tell you, a Keller funnel is a device that's used in order to deposit an implant into the breast pocket without touching the skin. At the time of surgery, the patient, after they're asleep, is prepped to get ready for surgery. And the prep solution typically contains alcohol or chlorhexidine or betadine or in some cases we use multiple preps. But ultimately, there still is just a few bacterium present on the skin at the time of surgery. And there is a risk of contamination of the implant as it goes into the breast if it's exposed to skin bacteria. If the implant is exposed to skin bacteria, the skin bacteria can create a biofilm around that implanted device in the breast and biofilms are associated with the development of capsular contracture. Capsular contracture is a hardening or tightening of the scar pocket around the implant inside the breast. So when an implant is placed in the breast, one strategy for reducing the risk of capsular contracture is to avoid contact with the skin. The surgeon, after scrubbing their hands, will wear double gloves and will wipe their gloves clean of any glove powders, which can be irritating, and then after the pocket's created and the pocket inside the breast is prepped with triple antibiotic and betadine, the surgeon can then use a Keller funnel to slide the implant into the pocket without allowing the implant to touch the patient's skin. It looks a little bit like a pastry funnel and the surgeon squeezes that device and this implant slides right into the pocket. The surgeon then closes the pocket and closes the skin and the implant never touched the patient's skin. Uh, this has been shown to reduce the risk of capsular contracture for patients having a breast augmentation.